Hello and welcome to the Hospital Rooms Digital Art School. You are about to watch a abstract life drawing class with artist Sapiwe Nguni. You can find the materials list at the bottom of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Hope you enjoy the workshop. Hi, my name is Sapu Manguni and I'm an abstract fine artist based in South East London. I'm so happy to be here doing the Digital Art School workshop with Hospital Rooms. Um, so thank you for having me. Today we're going to be doing a figure drawing workshop. Um, I have a load of materials here. I have some black paper, I have a pencil, I have some scissors. If you don't have scissors, that's fine because we can tear with our hands. We also have some prick stick. If you don't have a prick stick, we can use some masking tape, just anything to adhere the collage stuff we're gonna be doing later on. We have some oil pastels and soft pastels. We have some fixative. If you don't have fixative, you can use some hairspray. Um, and we have some imagery. Um, um, so these drawings that I made were actually started in my bedroom during lockdown and they were called sitting with myself. Um, and a lot of that time during that period was actually me looking at myself in the mirror, making different shapes and looking at the female nude. Um, so a lot of the shapes, you can see the movement, you can see the jump in, you can see the expressive lines. Um, and that's exactly what I do in my work. My work is very much based in movement, much very based in my dual heritage of being British, but also being from Zimbabwe. So that's where a lot of the ideas and particularly the colors come from. Um, my mom is a great influence on my work. So she would definitely help me with naming the works. Um, I'm from Zimbabwe um, and I speak Dibele. Um, very badly, but I try. Um, so a lot of that comes into the work. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw from these image packs that you should have downloaded on the Hospital Brooms website. Um, so I photographed myself in these different positions. Um, my friend Javi, who's an amazing photographer, photographed me. Um, and you can see I'm posing in these different positions that will actually base the inspiration for today's workshop. Um, so I'm gonna look at these drawings and we're gonna have a go. First, what I love to do is actually start testing my materials. I think that's really important. You're gonna be working on the black card. And for me, you need to literally make the chalk dance. That is so important. So as you can see, I'm bending the chalk, I'm using it on its side, and that will inform the final piece. Because a lot of my work has different mark makings. Even with the dots and the different lines. My work is very intuitive. So if I see a couple of colours that appeal to me in the moment, that's what I would lean towards. So I really like this red actually. It's very vibrant and has some hints of orange. That's really gorgeous, really like that one. See this white? This white is okay, but it's quite shallow. But I like that red, that red was good. So I encourage everybody just to play around with the oil pastels and get familiar. At the moment, I'm really into the color blue. There's so much language that's attached to this color in terms of its use in royalty, in terms of its use in art history, particularly my favorite, Picasso. He had his whole blue period and it's so emotional and yet it's so vibrant. And for me, when I pick color, that's what I'm looking at. I have to be inspired, it has to be intuitive. So color for me is really important. I think I'm gonna use this blue today. 
this blue, and maybe this orange, this is good. So once you have decided on your base colour, I would say look back on your images. So as I was posing, my hand is in that position, my leg is that way. And also I've got a couple where my hands are bent, the arch of the back. And then I don't look at it again. I think it's so important to be in the moment and to gain inspiration, but to not rely on it. This is really just between you and the piece of paper and you having a moment where you have some solitude. For me, art making is about that self-care. So let's give it a go. And this should be really fast. I think my best work is when I'm not thinking about it. I feel like I think too much in life anyway. And this is my moment where I literally can just dance with the paper and it lead me. Sometimes I even close my eyes and be led by that. And even when you turn it on its side, you see the different marks that makes and go with it. I think at school they teach you to draw in a particular way and if it doesn't look like the image in front of you, then you failed. But for me, that's completely different. What's important is what you're getting out of the experience and not what the final product is. So we've got our fine, we've got our base. Now, if you pick another color, I think maybe this pink, this pink is gorgeous. Oh, that's yummy. I like to highlight the boobs. That pink is yum. And trace round. For me, usually when I'm doing this process, the house is filled with music or oh, I'm doing it with a friend. Oh, that's yum, that's yum. To bring distraction. So actually today, maybe this is working because you're here. We're gonna add th those dots that we used before. That's really nice. Charcoal and soft pastels are so messy, which is why I love them. I'm a messy girl. <laughs> I'm a messy girl. Honestly, if you saw me at uni, you would have cried. <laughs> That's really nice. Let's add a third color. Da, 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 da. Should we do orange? No, too overpowering. It's always about what you personally love. Also with my work, it's about reaffirming who you are. I think particularly sometimes when you go into the world, people tell you who you are. But for me, it's important to go out in the world knowing who you are. And sometimes faking it. Sometimes I have days where I'm totally in my head and I'm unsure and I'm nervous. But sometimes you just have to pull yourself together and just process it. And for me, my work is about identity, about culture, about family, and about self. So if you get to that point where you're happy with that, with that base, what I love to do is get your scissors out. You can definitely do this with your hands and tear it. And actually the edges might be a lot nicer And actually I find this process very calming because it's forcing you to just follow line.
that's basically cut out and we're good to go. Let me just get these corners. Right, what you need to do now is get your print stick, flip the image on the back of the black and do your best to cover the whole of the collaged image with some print stick. Today I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheat and just do a couple of dots, but you guys at home, you can do a better job to get every corner with this adhesive. Boop, 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 boop. Like that. Brilliant. Now what we're gonna do is gonna bring over this white piece of paper. Make sure it's clean. You might need to clean your hands. Because I've got dirty hands. And you're gonna take the collage figure and place it delicately on your page. Sometimes I like to angle the image, just be careful of not getting it on the white. What's really good actually, if you placed some newspaper on top and some household cloth or tissue and you rubbed it down to flatten the shape. That would be really handy. And that's looking good, really good actually. Those colours are popping. As you can see, some of the fingerprints are there, so you can actually go back in with your oil pastel and cover that. I want to find some white. Can I see some white? Oh, green, that green works. That green works. So with this one now, there's a lot of soft pastels. So best thing to do is just to dust it off. All your pastel, unfortunately, moves a lot. So if you could get, if you can get your fixative or your hairspray and give that a whack, that's gonna need a couple of sprays, maybe 10 sprays. Do that outside in a ventilated area. And for the last step, I wanna find some black. What I love, one of my favorite artists, Keith Hearing, American artists, a lot of his paintings have so much movement with the lines. And that's what I love to bring in my work as a nod to him. And the last step, always sign your piece of art. Ownership, guys. You made this, be proud of it. This is for you. And there you go, a finished piece of abstract art. Hope you enjoyed it. I was Sapia Mingini. Thank you, Hospital Rooms. See you next time.